we're going to talk about timing. Been putting it off for about a year to get the timing set on an old car. I just throwed it in and moved it by ear and got it pretty run good. And I just left it like that, so might well work on fine tuning it now. Just got back from going down the road to warm everything up. So let me pop the hood and get everything hooked up and we'll go over how I'm going to set the timing on 1958 Dodge Cornet. Let's get started. Okay. Show me. Okay. And it's an ugly carburetor. I don't know why I powder coated it orange and black. It's ugly, but it runs good. So, might as well keep it on there. I got my vacuum of ants unhooked. Got it plugged off. And when it's normally hooked up, it's to the ported side of the carburetor. Um, I went ahead and hooked up my vacuum gauge to the back of the carburetor so it's got constant manifold vacuum I just done that cause I don't know what the vacuum is on this motor I haven't done that yet but if you missed the other videos I have converted the 58 Cornet to electronic in my process of doing that I took and got um made took three distributors and made one i got one from a swap meet and one distributor was broke and then i had some parts laying around so i took three pieces of a distributor and made one so i don't know how it's gonna perform or react but i've been driving it over a year and it runs pretty good so i'm i'm gonna keep on using it but now i gotta fine tune everything and get it where try to get it to run the best it can run so now everything's hooked up let's get started i'm gonna make a couple pulls okay so this is where we at right now initial timing with no vacuum is 19 degrees at 730 rpms mechanical vance with no timing is 35 degrees at 3000 rpm total advance with adding the mechanical and the vacuum advance part of it together we're at 52 degrees of total timing at 3000 and my vacuum is 16 pounds at 640 rpm and 21 pounds at 3000 all right so from the initial to the mechanical so the mechanical advance on this one here is doing 16 degrees adding 16 degrees of timing to it so with the mechanical and the vacuum together is adding an extra 17 degrees of timing to it so i like to get this 35 number degrees of mechanical advance somewhere around 38 but if i do that that's going to raise that a total way high so what i'm gonna do is adjust the vacuum advance part of the distributor lower that number so i can raise that number to get it close to the target point that i want this sound easy don't it okay i don't know if you can see it or not but this vacuum advance has a hex front if you got one that's just smooth all the way to the end and it's round, it's not adjustable. But the one with the hex is adjustable. And I think it's a 330 seconds. The right and small, I can't see it. Just run your Allen wrench down in there and you'll feel, all right, it's in, it's in the bolt. There's a bolt in there and I'm verified this one is turned clockwise all the way as far as it'll go. So what I'm going to do 
let me slide it back out and get it to a good point where I can see all right now what I'm gonna do back it out four rounds and then I'm gonna hook the vacuum advance back up and see what that did to the total timing so let me back this out four rounds then I check the time hook the vacuum up check the timing see what see where we got see if what it's doing but I'm gonna go four rounds first okay this is where we at right now 22 degrees at 690 rpms with no vacuum that's initial timing mechanical vance I got it up to 38 at 3000 so that leaves six, still 16 degrees in advance all right the total advance with mechanical and the vacuum secondary is up the 50 degrees at 3000 and I back the screw out all the way out to where it bottomed out and then I ran it in two turns and it's adding 12 degrees of timing with the vacuum hooked up so now I mean I want it 38 there so when you go open a wide open throttle and your vacuum goes away your time gonna go back to 38 that's where it should make the most power but once it cool off I'm gonna swap the plugs out and then get a good plug reading to see if it likes that if it's there or not but I'm gonna try this so cruising speed just cruising down the road under normal condition at a half 50 degrees of timing you smack the throttle you lose your vacuum and it should go to 38 which should still pull pretty good so in theory all this should work I'm gonna try it and see if not I could go right back to all this that's why so you need to write it down that way you can keep up with it and know where you're going and when I go down the road if that don't feel right I can I know I can back it between these numbers and get everything to work out good it's not spark knocking got a little bit of throttle response um even though it's at 50 degrees it's still run good it's a little peppy it's not jumping coke bottles peppy but it's a big car but yeah so i'm gonna try that for a little bit see how it works and like i said i'm gonna change the plugs once it cool off and then get a plug reading and i'll follow up with the video Whenever I go to set the carburetor, I'll let you know how the timing worked out. Because setting the carburetor, you got to get your timing set first. And then go to the carburetor. So, drive it around a little bit like that. See what happens. And thanks for watching. And we'll continue on.